Florida's Republican governor, Ron DeSantis is furious at the Biden administration for cutting off the supply of monoclonal antibody treatments created and distributed by Regeneron and Eli Lilly. Except that's not actually an accurate statement. The FDA of course came out recently and said, listen, these Regeneron treatments or not Regeneron, excuse me, the monoclonal antibody treatments put out by companies, Regeneron and Eli Lilly are not effective against the Omicron variant. And since 99% of new COVID cases here in the United States are Omicron, we're cutting off the emergency use authorization for these two monoclonal antibody treatments. There's actually still one out there on the market that seems to be showing a little bit of effect against Omicron. So that's actually still available, but Ron DeSantis nevertheless is angry. Office released this statement. Governor Ron DeSantis is demanding the Biden administration reverse its sudden and reckless decision to revoke emergency use authorization for Regeneron and Eli Lilly monoclonal antibody treatments. This abrupt unilateral action by the Biden administration will prevent access to life-saving treatments for Floridians and Americans. So suddenly you care about dead Floridians, Ron? No, you don't. What you care about are the interests of one of your top donors by the name of Ken Griffin, who happens to be one of the, uh, I guess, managers you'd call him with Citadel, the hedge fund investment group. Citadel owns $15.9 million worth of shares in Regeneron. And of course, Ken Griffin with Citadel, who owns part of Regeneron, uh, gave $10 million to Ron DeSantis's, uh, political action committee, along with over the years, a hundred million dollars to other Republicans. So Ron DeSantis is not fighting for Floridians to receive life-saving treatment. He's fighting for his donor, Ken Griffin, to continue to get government money. Because as I said, there's still a monoclonal antibody treatment out there available for everybody. Like you can still get that one. There's also other COVID treatments that the government announced this week. They're sending tens of thousands of doses of it here to Florida. So we're still getting treatments. We're getting medicine. There's still a monoclonal antibody out there. So what are you pissed off about? That's like saying that one brand of tomato soup is no longer going to be available, but there's still half a dozen on the store shelves. You have plenty of other options. If of course your real concern was saving lives here in the state of Florida, which judging by the numbers I've pulled here, it doesn't look like you care so much about saving our lives. 64,000 Floridians are dead from COVID-19, 64,000. We are averaging over the seven day span, 40,000 new COVID cases per day. If you cared about saving people's lives, you would be out there encouraging to get, uh, encouraging them to get vaccinated. You're not doing that. You have not encouraged people to take the vaccine for months and months and months. You're such a coward. You're gutless as Trump put it, because you won't even admit whether or not you've had the shot. You're a coward, Ron. We see right through what you're doing. You're not mad that monoclonal antibody treatments have been cut off because they haven't all been cut off. We still have access to one out of three. You're mad that your precious little donor, Ken Griffin, isn't going to be getting boodles. If that's even a word uh, is going to be getting tons of that free government cash that he'd been getting. That's gone. Your donor is losing money. And that is what you're fighting for. Not for our lives, not for our health, not for our safety. Ron DeSantis is fighting only for his big million dollar donor.